Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got something special for you today. I got a base defense uh, that, to me, might be the best base defense in this game. It is, without a doubt, the most flexible base defense. I mean, I still like my 335 wide nine. I still think that's one of the best ones out there for whatever situation, but this one right is right up there. This one's really close. Uh, but basically, uh, I, I took a, the San Diego Chargers in a mutt draft recently because uh, of their offensive playbook mostly, but obviously I had to use their defensive playbook too. And I realized pretty quickly that, that my 335 isn't in here. So I had to lab some other stuff and I came up with something that uh, was pretty much shut down throughout the entire uh, you know three game stretch that I played. I didn't make it all the way to the Super Bowl this time, but um, either way, this was a really good uh, base defense and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it is it's a really simple uh, setup it's the cover two invert the one right there at the top I still run a lot of zone a lot of people are saying man's the way to go and a lot of snares it is there's some good man plays in here too um, I started looking at the four six normal because I was hearing uh, that people are using it but I don't really know what play um, other people are using this out of I think it's heavy man uh, coverages out of the 46 but I'm still a zone guy and I'll always be a zone guy so let's go ahead and let's take a look at that play if you guys want to see more defensive plays do me a favor hit the like button and I'll do that uh, but for now let's go ahead and let's take a look at this cover two invert one at the top there so basically this play setup is really simple this this formation by itself is just such a good run stopping defense up the center I don't know what it is and it's really capable for outside too I mean, if I move if I motion these guys out and I can do that from time to time for outside runs or for um, just the flat coverages to get out there a little bit quicker uh, I can see I forgot to substitute my safety here I, I was gonna say to make sure you have a good speedy safety out here uh, but this is fine a die is a decent safety is really slow so I'll, I'll make that adjustment in a minute but either way um, you know, you can go cloud flats like it's set up here. Hard flats is pretty decent, too. Uh, that's really up to you, though. That's not a huge adjustment. That's just something you're going to want to figure out. Uh, but the, basically, the adjustment that I'm going to make is all going to be centered around this guy. This guy here, this free safety, should be the best safety or the best player on your team because he's going to do everything. The first thing I want to do is I want to bring him down the box, just like you're seeing here. He's going to be my middle linebacker, and I'm not going to be using him. I mean, I could, I guess, but that's not really the point. The point here is I'm going to bring him down the box, and he's going to be my gadget man. He's going to be Mr. Do Everything. Uh, basically, if I think it's going to be a run play or if I think that the, um, the best uh, you know, say they're hitting the running back a lot. Uh, this guy right here is really going to be best suited to uh, man up to the running back. And that, like if it's a toss or something like that, the computer takes a few seconds to read it. But if it's a man coverage, he'll chase that down right away because it's his man to cover. So that's a really good way to uh, to user, not user, to put a guy um, in a good position to make a play, uh, whether it's a run or a pass. If it's a pass, obviously he's going to sniff out a flat or whatever. But uh, but he's like I said, he's a free man. I'm going to have a lot of adjustments with this guy. Uh, but that's one of my more favorite ones to do. It really helps with the run. Plus him being down the box. I mean, you'll see how many plays he makes when I run this play in a few seconds. Him being down the box is just huge. As you can see also, look at the size advantage that I have here. This is the guy I'm Going to be using. I'm going to be using strong side either to the tight end or to the slot, um, which is, you know, something that, uh, uh, you know, obviously you typically want to cover uh, the lane where the tight end or the slot is pretty much in the beginning anyway. But either way, this is the look. I'm not saying that this is always where you want to go with the safety. Another thing you can do with the safety, say somebody's beating you with like a deep double post, all you really got to do is put this same safety. I think I hit the wrong button there. Put him on a man coverage, and you can put him to the to the to Conley, or you can put him to Hill. It really doesn't matter. It's really up to you. Um, I don't really typically do it that way. I find he's best to either to either put in a man coverage on the running back, like I said, or even on Kelsey, say the tight end. Uh, if it's a lot of crossing uh, tight end routes, he's really good to just leave over in this area and let him let him cross man it. Uh, if there's a slot receiver, say, in between Hill and the offensive line, he's really good to do that. But like I said, you really need playmaking safeties, and I don't really think I have a lot of speed uh, at the safeties in uh, in San Diego right now. Uh, but that's really it. I mean, as far as your adjustments, uh, you know, there, you can, you know, there's there's no real adjustment. Like this 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 defensive front essentially is one of the better run stopping fronts as it is. But you know, look look how I have here. I mean, I have. It's basically a cover two. Once you bring Lowry down, it's essentially just a regular cover two. Uh, my assignments change a little bit. I have to I have to mention this. Um, I have to be sure if I do this that I cover the deep middle here if it's there. 
uh, that really is important because that's now my responsibility. So if I do have to do that from time to time, it's not a bad idea to stand up uh, Joey Bosa here or a defensive end in my stead so that I do have the freedom to, uh, to drop deep center because that is going to be my responsibility. So make sure you got a fast middle linebacker. Uh, but as long as you're aware of that and you're a decent user, you can set that up with no problem. And like I said, I still really like Hunt here. But look at this. I got nine guys in the box. I mean, how many defenses have nine guys in the box? And it's totally unnecessary because this defense, even with Lowry back, will shut down the same way. So this is just one of the best run defenses, and it's just one of the most capable pass defenses too. So like I said, I want to change out my safeties for something a little bit better. So we're going to go with a pause. So here's what I was talking about. We have that um, that slot receiver. So if I think it's going to be a crossing receiver, that's really the best way to go. So let's go ahead and let's rock it like this. And we got that that dude just sitting right there. Uh, man, you get a couple yards, big deal. So we got three yards there. You can have that. So let's keep this going. Um, like I said, I could I could cross man Tyree Kill. It's really you know if you, depending on what you saw in a previous play, it's really the best way to figure it out. And no world run lanes there. You see, you got nine guys in the box, man. Nine guys in the box equals some pretty good run stopping defense. And like I said, you just have to be aware of over the top middle. That's got to be your assignment. It's a little bit of a user element there. And he's taken off. That's totally, he totally passed the line of scrimmage, but whatever. So, I mean, look at this. I got a 4-4 in the box with a safety right there. I mean, this is just OP. Oh, oh, turn around and get on the ball. Man, you could have picked that easily, bro. So, I like in that slot receiver again. We'll go that route. Like I said, it looks like I might be taking away middle coverage, but all I'm really doing is shifting responsibility to me and making this a, a true cover too. That's all this really is. This is not. I'm not taking away much by taking away that vertical flat. Look at that. I, I was nowhere in position, and the run play shut down. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best run D's in the game right now. I'll bring my safety down here. I mean, look at this. Look at this stack. And you got your cover two safeties out there. You're not really. Oh wow! Look at boom! Get, get it, bro! Get it! <laughs> I said this defense right here it's gonna change lives <laughs> I don't want to oversell too much all right so we're hard flat and I'm standing up Bosa oh that's my area that's my zone look at that coverage there's nowhere for the computer to go nowhere to go covered sack everything's covered it's that simple a lot of different looks you can you can do with this like I said every time I see that slot receiver I think that's one of the better ways to go is to man that slot because that's where most people throw the ball is a crossing slot receiver or something of that nature. As you see, I'm basically, I'm handling that deep cover too. There's nowhere to go. The computer just holds on to the ball. There's nobody open. <coughs> this here, I mean, you know, I could go any number of routes here, but I'm gonna go to Kelsey. I'd say if you have two tight ends, I'd, I'd, I'd man them to the better tight end. Would probably be the best way to go. Look at that, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Another sack. Look at that. He's just like nowhere. Nothing. Yeah, you also have an option too. Um, you could really, you know, this defensive end, you see me standing up every once in a while. I could always just, just man him to the running back. Like here, I got the slot defender manned up with the safety. I could always do this with the running back just to take that running back away and then basically put these tight ends on me, uh, which tight ends are probably the least athletic out of the slot receivers or the, um, you know, out of the options that I have. Look at that, nothing, nothing. Get on that ball. Oh, man, I thought that was a pick. Nothing nothing open, though. That's the point. So here we got slot defender again. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go ahead and put the, the defensive end on the running back. <clears throat> like I said, that defensive end's kind of a free man, too, if you want him to be. Look at that, nothing open, nothing open. You get a couple yards. Take the two yards and get out of bounds. It's yours. You think somebody can make a living off of that all day? Shut down defense. Look at this. It's basically like a 4-5. Making it my own defense right now. Look at that. Nowhere to go. Run lanes. Shut down. But this is just, you know, to me, it's always going to be about zone. I'm just a zone guy. And you can just see the computer's whole. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that shut down. And like I said, that's it. That's 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 the vid. Um, 
you know, I could do a video on this rush outside. It's a really good uh, blitzing formation. So hit the like button for that. But I would say without showing you the setups, it's good to run that every once in a while. Just get a little pressure, mix it up. Uh, it's a very effective blitz. So that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shut out.